yogis, welcome to class. This is the last of our seven day run of building your yoga practice. Um, and today I thought we would explore how much yoga can bring strength to your practice. Uh, we always think flexibility in yoga and uh, more recently, we get a lot of cardio with our yoga sometimes, depending on the, the type, but at its core, yoga builds a lot of strength. So it doesn't take a lot, it just uh, as you will see in about 10 minutes today, we are going to get a pretty good workout. So we're going to be focusing a lot on the lower body in this practice. Um, and if something doesn't feel right, then certainly don't, go, don't do it. Um, you know, you got to work with what's going well for you today. So we're going to start in a standing position. Bring your feet underneath your hips and then tuck up your belly up and in. Tailbone comes down and maybe zip up those skinny jeans. Drop your shoulders back and down and close your eyes. You can bring your hands to your heart center if that feels right for you or you can let them rest down by your side. But wherever it is, just go ahead and find a bit of calm. Creating a little bit of space here. Breathing all the way in through the nose, creating that length through the crown of the head, reaching towards the top of your ceiling. And then exhale, extending down through the heels. One big breath here. And then as you exhale, go ahead and allow the eyes to blink open. We're going to reach the arms nice and wide and all the way up, lifting up, look up. Be careful not to pop too far forward here. You want to engage the core through this. Cross the thumbs behind you and lift up out of the shoulders, maybe a slight back bend here. Make sure that front body is nice and sturdy here. And then exhale, bend the knees, float down, all the way down forward fold. So melting over the legs. Head is super heavy here. Maybe rocking forward and back on your toes. And then rolling up one vertebrae at a time, coming back to that nice tall stance, standing up over your feet. Bring hands to heart center. Walk your feet out nice and wide and then sit down in between the knees. So hips come in between the knees. Knees are going to press back and the toes are coming out to about 11 and one, maybe 10 and two, and then sink down. So you wanna pull belly in. So bring your hand to your belly and just tuck your tailbone underneath you and then you'll feel the back body light up. Bring your hands to your shoulder or to your knees and then rock forward with your left shoulder. Look out over your right. You can rock a little bit side to side here. And then just come through center and go to the other side. So right shoulder comes down, look up and over the left. And then we're going to find stillness here. So hands come to heart center, sit back down, zip up. And I want you to get the feeling of really engaging through your glutes. So pulling up from the bottom all the way up into a nice tight line. Beautiful. We're going to float that right heel off the mat and just drop down slightly. And we're going to turn and swivel so that, sorry, that left knee, your their left heel is lifted. Your left knee now is pointing down towards the mat and you're facing over towards your right. Now from here, pull that knee underneath you. So that front knee comes underneath you and then Push forward out of the heel, hinge over the hips, look down at that big toe, keeping hands to heart center, root down through that front leg and slide that back foot off the mat, coming to a warrior three. So hips are square here. Zip up through that belly, float the toes behind you. You can point or flex or floint or whatever feels right. Hands stay at heart center. Just bend that back knee, bring the foot to meet the front. It can be about hip width and sit down into your chair pose. So a lot of legs here. And then maybe rock forward onto your toes, lift the heels up off the mat, and then hinge from the hips, floating your nose down. Maybe the shoulders come even with the hips, maybe not. 
heels come to the mat stand all the way up look up take a little back bend here and then we're going to open back out finding our way back to that goddess shape toes are out heels are in sit nice and low hands come back to heart center again zip up through that whole midline sink low float your right heel spin look over that left leg bend the back knee so it's underneath the hip here hinge forward look down at that big toe and then maybe float that back foot off the mat find your way to that warrior stance back foot comes to meet the front sit right back down into your chair pose utkatasana sit back sit down inhale lift up exhale float the heels and hinge look down at the toes pull the belly in extend the tailbone long sit back a little sit down inhale stand all the way up take that little back bend at the top maybe hooking the thumbs reaching the arms back and then fold down inhale half lift exhale melt down over the legs so you should feel some heat generating here we're going to roll all the way back up we're going to move through that a little bit faster with a little bit more this time so standing out goddess shape sit down hands can stay at heart center if you like or this time maybe extend them nice and long sit down left heel lifts sink swivel reach the arms up overhead find your way to a crescent warrior back knee bent exhale hinge float that back leg off the mat and find your way warrior three inhale step down utkatasana chair pose lift the heels float the hands back behind you as you hinge forward drinking bird and then stand all the way up take that back bend step out back into your goddess shape Whew, you know where we're going lift the heel swivel and turn find your way into that crescent with the back knee bent hinge reach float warrior three step forward sit down sit back lift the heart chair pose swivel the hands behind you lift the heels look down and then inhale stand all the way up all right we're going to flush it out with a little arm work here bring both hands down to the mat step back into your plank shape hands are underneath your shoulders toes are about as far back as you can possibly get them and still have your shoulders over your wrists from here we're going to swivel onto the blade of the back foot so go ahead and stack your feet in front of each other so you're coming to that front foot or that top foot is in front that back foot is behind and lift up so the reason I want you to stack your feet is so that you can squeeze your inner thighs together zip it up both hands come down come back to your plank see if you can keep your inner thighs glued together and then swivel over to the other side and just place the foot in front so the top foot goes in front the back foot is in back zip up that whole midline and then we're going to do one more each side back to plank swiveling over open back down and then back your inner thighs are glued together here perfect both hands come down knees come down sit back into your child's pose forehead comes to the mat and then exhale everything out let's find our way to our downward facing dog we're going to go through that whole sequence one more time a little bit faster so downward facing dog you're going to lift that back leg and then step forward between the hands and windmill all the way up into your goddess pose so toes out heels in sink low hands can go wherever it feels right for you lift the heel on the left foot swivel and turn find your way to your crescent inhale find length exhale bend the knee inhale fold forward find your way warrior three exhale square the hips inhale find length 
exhale step both feet together sit down chair pose reach up exhale fold into drinking bird lift the heels hands reach behind you tuck the tailbone back find length nice inhale reach all the way up stand up bring both hands down either side of that front foot step back top of your plank swiveling over to the side one arm up squeeze those thighs together back to center other side back to center downward facing dog back leg reaches forward in between the hands turn your toes windmill the hands right back into that goddess shape second side lift the heel on that right foot sink low inhale length exhale swivel and turn crescent arms reach up bend that back knee you can slide it forward if you need it exhale sink lower inhale hinge look down at that front foot and then float whoops float the back leg up you can keep the arms out in front of you if you have the space if you're right next to a wall hands can come to heart center inhale find length exhale swivel the hips so that they're square with the mat bring that front foot back down chair pose again if you have the space reach out and then find your way drinking bird lift the heels come way up onto the toes sit the hips even with the knees and then drop the shoulder inhale reach all the way up little back bend exhale last time hands come down step back top of your plank swiveling open into that side plank both hands down swiveling up both hands down bring your knees down to the mat and then just sit down on your shins reach the crown of the head nice and tall and come back to your breath close your eyes wrap your hands around behind you either grabbing opposite elbows maybe reverse prayer here to work into the wrists drop the chin you can just grab fingers if that works releasing the hands coming back to a nice neutral spine hands can rest in the lap shoulders roll back and down taking a moment here that was just the tip of the iceberg just a tiny bit of movement just a tiny bit of strength work and might have set you up for the rest of your day you feel energized you feel strong you're ready to move on to something else No matter how busy you are, you have 10 minutes, you have 15 minutes someplace. You can always find just a minute for yourself. It's up to you what you do with it. Thank you so much for joining me for this whole series. I hope you did the whole challenge. If not, you can go ahead and start at the beginning or pick any one of them and just go ahead and do seven days, 10 minutes. That's all it takes. Thank you for joining me for my yoga practice, my daily yoga habit. I hope to see you again. Have a fabulous rest of your day. Namaste.